Cats double end or scrapers, meaning they've got an engine in each end. So they often called push me pull me's. They come in 27, 627s, 637s, and 657s. Okay, 57s are big monsters. This is a 27 little. They're actually designed to work in tandem with another one. That way you've got eight tires pushy pulling. Right here we see the boys are not familiar, so they're new hands. So they're working it in a little bit, getting them doing it single for a while. Hopefully tomorrow they'll hook up and start push me pull me. They're a lot more efficient when they do. Here he's coming onto the fill. He's thinking about it. Where the heck do I go? Okay. Now you see the material spilling out. Okay, now he's dropped his can. He's starting to raise his apron a little bit. And his crowd will start coming forward. See, you saw the apron arm go up. He raised her all the way and he just made a big dump out of it. Sometimes they can spread it, you know, three inches, six inches thick for quite a ways. See a articulated truck, cat truck rolling in. Coming into the fill also, there's an empty. Hell, I don't know where he's going. I'm not sure he does either. Probably headed for the outhouse. We'll watch this Arctic articulated truck come in. We got the cat working on the fill and the 825, I think it is. That's a sheep's foot roller made by Caterpillar. They make those 815, 825, 835s. Truck dumped, he's out of there in a hurry. Cat has to take and spread it out. And then the sheep's foot is going to walk back and forth and compact it in. He put the fill in and lifts. You can't just dump it in a big pile because you need compaction. Here we see the boy, he's dumped his load and he's headed across and he's going back for more. Well, here we're going to get lucky. We've got him hooked. Looks like they're coming in tandem, so maybe they're going to hook up and give us a show. And they've got a bale on the front and a hook on the back. And he'll come up right there to the push block, drop his bale over so that he's hooked up. The front one will load. Pretty soon you'll see the material boiling out the sides of it. Once the front one's loaded, then the back one, he'll raise his can up, the front one will, and the back one will drop his can and start taking a bite. Pretty quick, we'll see the material boiling out of the back one here. It's kind of hard digging right there. I don't know how they did it with the, there the front one's full. Now the back one's, he's got it open maybe six inches, just enough to let the material go in without digging too deep. There's an art to it, and these boys get pretty good at it after a while. Most of them will work in pairs because they know what the other one's going to do. And they can anticipate. We, there we see the material starting to boil out. There it is on the back one. Okay, now is the point in time where they'll unhook. He, the back one will raise his bail, and the front one will take off. Ah, we got what we used to call a BG. That's the big wide blade that's used to kind of help, help the haul road. Smooth it out, pull the rocks off the haul road. Okay, now they're unhooked and now they're headed for the fill. Maybe we'll see it here where he, he'll start to raise his apron and then the crowd will push forward to push the material out. But we've got to get on the fill first. They, they're coming back and they're going to work it from the other direction. A lot of organics back there in the pile. Now here we come. There's the fill. We'll see how they react. What do you think? They're going to go one after the other, or are they going to go side by side? Each one's got his own lane, doesn't he? OK, 
Okay. They've got to get to where they need to put the fill. Scrapers can move a lot of dirt in a hurry if you get the right guys on them. It's not an old man's game. They're, even with the newer creature comforts, it's still hard on backs. and Still bounce around. You're still jerking around. Something about having that tractor. You're sitting on two tires, articulating. You turn the steering and it jumps around. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.